Well, hello every- oh god, I gotta decorate this habitat. Can't be having a bad looking showcase right off the bat. Welcome everyone! Hope you guys are having the most wonderful of wonderful days. My name is Leaf, and it's so great that you guys are able to join me for the latest mod showcase. So before we do get started, modding is not officially endorsed by Frontier. When you do mod, you do mod at the risk of breaking your own game. But if you follow my latest tutorial, which hopefully should be good from now until eternity, uh, knock on wood at least, you guys will be fine. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. We are starting with a beautiful little donkey right over here. This is uh, Newt's and my feral burrow. These guys are so freaking cool. So these guys are the feral version of the classic donkey that we all know and love. Uh, these guys live in like the southwest of America, uh, ranging into Mexico and the United States as well. I gave these guys interspecies enrichments with a whole bunch of like those classic North American animals just for some diverse habitats, but they are just the cutest looking guys. They have a lot of different color variations in here. I do want to plan on adding more later down the line, but you'll get these nice chocolate versions alongside these nice kind of darker colors of the uh, Burrow, really. Really awesome skin job by Newt on here. Really, really awesome with that. He's working on a coyote right now, too, so we'll have one nice and updated for modern day, which is going to be fantastic. But these guys are just the cutest looking things ever. I really do love all the detail around, like, the snout, around the eyes and stuff. He did a stellar job with that. Of course, the enrichment button should work. Yep. Okay, I was really scared it wasn't going to work. So you guys can click that. If you guys are clicking it on mods that have not been updated to 1.15 by me, it's going to crash your game. I cannot stress that enough. If you guys are reporting that issue on mods, please understand that this is something that I am working on slowly but surely so that the mods get fixed. But all in all, it's just something that I'm trying to make for all my mods going forward and for all the updates from before. But yeah, these guys are beautiful. Look at the baby right over there. We're not gonna wait for the baby to be made, but I guess I could kind of show off the taxidermy mod for a bit. Uh, so if we go over here to the small yacht wild ass, which is what it's based off of, here's the baby. If you guys haven't seen like my videos on Twitter for the taxidermy mod, you guys can go check it out. He is playing us a nice little ditty right there. But you can see that the baby is the cutest little thing in the world. Look at him. So adorable. Okay, they they are getting that confiscated. That is getting too annoying. Let's check out our next animal. So this is the Tyra. These guys are like super rare in North America, but I have been able to see them before, so that is pretty cool. But they are an arboreal mustelid from South America, and they are just the most beautiful looking species out there. Really weird looking guys. I don't know. They just have this really, really kind of, but they are just so, so stellar. They have like these very iconic white and yellow patches kind of like on their throat and stuff, which is very cool. This is made by Gaboy. Gaboy always does the best for whatever animals he does work on. And these guys have a whole ton of different color variations. You can see we got like these nice yellow tannish looking ones. And we also get some very nice chocolate looking ones as well. Very cool animal right there. Photos by Robustus. He always does an incredible job for that stuff. No inner- well, well, they actually do have interspecies enrichment. That's kind of cool. Uh, but they are considered to be predators. So I would just be a little bit careful with that stuff. But they are still so awesome. Look at that. So adorable. Moving on from there, we also have the Hirola from Monsoon. Again, a very weird animal from the labs of Monsoon. Very, very beautiful species over here. These guys are incredible. They, I believe, are related to hard beasts. Uh, so they are somewhat related to those guys, but they are just really, really beautiful. Found in Kenya and Somalia. They have all this interspecies enrichment as well, which is always pretty cool. And Monsoon just always does so incredible, just to get like all these finer details on his hoofstock. Really, really awesome. You could see like these veins popping out right over there. That is always so cool. And yeah, just really, really incredible work all around. These guys have a whole ton of different really awesome color variation too which is just the most beautiful thing in the world check out that pelt that is just awesome and i love the little tail he did back over here too that is great monsoon work. amazing work 
Now we have a new modder in the game. We have the European Pine Martin by Kate. Uh, let me actually look up their full name on Nexus. I believe it is uh, Great Cake Mods. Really, really awesome work for a first mod. We've never heard of this modder before. They made this all without the help of the Cobra server, which is really incredible. It is based off of the Red Panda, which is very cool, but they are just so freaking awesome. Look at these guys. So the European Pine Martin is an animal that a lot of the Europeans seem to really love. Love these photo shoots up here. Uh, they are related to the Minx Otters. Again, another Mustelid. Really, really awesome stuff right there. Custom Zoopedia map. It's just a really solid animal overall, which I am so happy that we have in the game. Look at that. So adorable. So it's classic red panda animations. I love that stuff. But yeah, that is really it this for week, my friends. A bit of a shorter week, but we got some really quality mods overall. We could even see a little baby already. Oh no, that's a taxidermy I placed. Never mind. <laughs> but that is it, my friends. We do have an update coming out relatively soon, I want to say. So just be sure to prep your games for that. I have a whole video on that. Uh, you guys can look up the channel for how to like remove mods from your game or whatever. For right. updates and whatnot. Because I just want to make sure that you guys are able to play with the next update and DLC day one. Because it's going to probably be pretty incredible. I don't know. What do you think, Mr. Harola? Yeah, that's what I thought. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. We'll end it with these burrows over here because I can't get enough of my domestic animals. Have the most wonderful of wonderful days. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care and goodbye.